we finally get our first look at AMD's Monster APU. But before I get to that, Nvidia's consumer CPU is coming soon, massive price drops, and AMD's about to change everything. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today's video is sponsored by Brilliant. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, if you remember a little while back, I discussed a report that Nvidia was actually making ARM-based PC chips, meaning consumer CPUs that run Windows. Well, it looks like Nvidia is very far along in that endeavor because according to this report, their consumer CPUs are set to launch in September 2025, with commercial following shortly after in 2026. Basically, Qualcomm proved that it could be done with their Snapdragon X Elite chips, and now Nvidia is set to enter the domain. Now, we don't know if this will be desktop, notebook, or what, but given Nvidia's dominance in the discrete GPU market, as you can see right here, as even Tom's hardware suggests, it says, in addition, Nvidia could introduce a high-performance CPU optimized for gaming and a discrete GPU, a platform that would compete against high-end AMD and Intel x86 platform for gaming PCs. Basically, Nvidia is set to bring some huge competition to the market. And speaking of competition, we learn the importance of it because AMD is being forced to make the Ryzen 9000 series cheaper than ever. But first, do you know what's better than cheap? free. And today, you can learn all about how computers actually work with a free 30-day trial when you visit brilliant.org slash gamermeld, the one place I go when I want to learn something new in computer science. What's really wild is that they don't teach you like any other platform I've seen. No listening to a teacher or even seeing how they do it. Brilliant makes you do it yourself, so you learn how it actually works. And what's even better is that they use these interactive puzzles that, honestly, it's almost a cliche, but it actually makes learning fun. Whether that's the large language models that power AI chatbots, coding, or just about anything you can think of in computer science. And besides desktop, they've got to have one of the best mobile apps I've ever seen. So try out Brilliant for free today at brilliant.org slash gamermelt and when you use my link my viewers will get 20 percent off the annual premium once again that's brilliant.org slash gamermelt or use the qr code here now back to the story we all know that amd's ryzen 9000 series hasn't exactly been well received neither is intel's core ultra series but the simple fact is that ryzen 9000 clearly hasn't been selling well and because of that as you can see boy are they lowering prices for starters you can see, well, all, obviously this is across the board price drops. This comes from Newegg. Actually, this is probably the best place to show you right here. So original price was $649. Now it's $584. That's a $65 price drop. Then the 9900X, it originally sold for $499 or the original launch MSRP, and now it's down to $383. That's a 30% drop, $116. Moving on, we have the 9700X, originally $359, now it's down to $312, that's a $47 drop. Then finally, the 9600X from $279 down to $238. Ultimately, I think these price drops are so good that I really think Intel needs to start dropping their prices as well. Once again, the power of competition. And next up, if you remember not too long ago, I discussed an interview where AMD remarked on plans for their next-gen FSR4 tech to be AI-based. That was originally said by AMD's own Jack Hoon, where he states right down here, it says, so now we're going AI-based, frame generation, frame interpolation, and the idea is increased efficiency to maximize battery life. So yeah, this one came right from AMD, and of course, this was a huge departure for the company, given they had pushed back over the years against Nvidia's use of AI in DLSS. Well, it looks like AMD is set to release that way sooner than anyone thought. As you can see right here, this one actually comes originally from that video that I released yesterday regarding AMD's 9800X 3D. And of course, that was really the main focus of that video, so I didn't discuss this. And if you want to see that, I should have a link somewhere up here. Either way, within that, he states, quote, 
We are also partnering deeply with our close friends at Activision to deliver the absolute best experience in Call of Duty Black Ops 6, with the game optimizations and the integration of FSR 3.1. We are also working, here it is right here, very hard to enable the next generation of ML-based FSR on Call of Duty Black Ops 6. So there you have it, ML or machine learning based FSR. Of course, this starts bringing up questions of if it's machine learning based, it likely requires certain types of cores, similar to NVIDIA's Tensor cores, which AMD GPUs are gonna be able to utilize this. Lots of questions here, but, for any of those who really love DLSS but want an AMD GPU, this could be a decent solution. But of course, what are your thoughts on this? I'm really curious about that. Let me know down in the comments below. And lastly for today, we finally get our first look at AMD's next-gen monster APU. I'm of course talking Strix Halo. That's that bad boy with a giant GPU built right in, and at least according to Moore's Law is Dead, this right here is a render of the APU, and as you can see, it's called Ryzen AI Max Pro Series. Specifically, the biggest one is set to be, at least according to leaks, the Ryzen AI Max Plus 395. Now, for those who don't really know much about this, haven't seen any of my videos on it, well, for one, you definitely want to make sure you subscribe so you can keep up with all the latest PC hardware news. But if you aren't already subscribed and you haven't seen this, the biggest one out of all of these, from what I've seen, there's going to be kind of multiple ones, but the biggest one is set to be a 16 core, 32 thread CPU with up to 20 work group processors based on RDNA 3.5 and that 20 means 40 CUs making this an absolute monster of a GPU. I mean that's way more cores than the desktop 7600 XT and I mean way more cores. Not only that but we're talking when it comes to AI up to 60 tops all of this and as you can see like I said this right here, if this leak is correct, is a render of the die. And you can actually see this is it's massive, obviously. But according to this, each of these are CPU core complexes, obviously, each with eight cores and 16 threads, making that 16 core 32 thread CPU portion. But then down here, we have the IO, the NPU, and of course, that monster integrated GPU. Basically, this proves just how incredible multi-chip modules can be. This die is clearly massive and they were basically able to do this by combining multiple smaller chiplets all into one. My only hope is that it's actually priced reasonably well. Fingers crossed there. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for AMD's next-gen APUs? And what do you think about that new FSR4 tech? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to try out Brilliant for free at brilliant.org slash gamermelt. And as always, have a great day.